remind me now I just, your professor born in this question what is the problem with general relativity not m melding together with quantum physics what is the what is the real hold up there well the real hold up is that they are logically incompatible with each other and so something has to give and that's because of the quant general relativity requires space to be a continuous you have a continuum space you uh, and it's a very definite space. It's not a space where you have a certain probability that space is warped in this way and another probability is warped in that, that way. In fact, there are no probabilities at all. Yeah. There are classical probabilities, but not quantum, but not quantum okay. probabilities. And so at the, at the smallest scale, yeah. they're incompatible. The, the, the smallest scale, they're incompatible in, in any place where gravity becomes extremely strong, they're incompatible. So they're, the smallest scale, they're incompatible... Uh, even here in this room, but also they're incompatible. <laughs> they're incompatible in uh, the birth of the universe when gravity was extremely strong. They're incompatible in the core of a black hole where gravity is extremely strong. They're incompatible uh, if you try to make a time machine. H Hockey and I, uh, independently with our students, uh, sort of identified a process whereby if a very advanced civilization tries to make a time machine, it will quite possibly explode at the moment you try to turn it on. Uh, and that's also controlled by uh, these laws of quantum gravity. So that's why we haven't seen any time travelers yet. No, well, that's, that's, that may be the It would reason. explain that it. They're all dead the... trying to turn on the machine. That's right. What you're saying is Einstein puts forth the general theory of relativity, which is so successful in so many realms. And it picked up where Newtonian gravity failed Yet we must confess or concede that there's a limit to how far general relativity goes, although we've yet to find a limit to quantum physics. So the betting, the betting pool will say general relativity is going to succumb to quantum physics in some way. Yeah, that, that's one way to say it. They, certainly there is the incompatibility between the two. And string theorists are trying to be the, they're like, performing the shotgun wedding between the two branches of physics somehow. Yeah, and I, I do think, again, looking in from the outside, since I've chosen not to work in this field, that string theory is, uh, is likely to be a successful route into the correct loss yeah, of quantum gravity. Yeah, but they've gravity. been at it for 50 years. Oh, yeah. 40, 40 that's years. That's not very long. Come on, I'm, so, 84, so I, I'm 84 years old. Come on. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's just a, a drop in the bucket. Come on. Wait, but Einstein went from special relativity to general relativity in 10 years. Kepler went from, from weird nested solids to the Kepler's three laws of motion in 10 years. And that's lone scientists. We've been working to try to do a controlled fusion uh, for, uh, for 50 a lot years. longer than, more than 50 years. Yeah. LIGO took 50 years from the time I first yeah. started working on gravitational waves until we succeeded. It was 50 years. Okay. Some things take a long time. Yeah, but LIGO is a machine. The, the merging of quantum physics and general relativity are ideas. Could it be? And I've said this, I, I, I don't want to say this to you because uh, you're, you're Kip Thorne, but, but I've said this to Brian Greene, okay? Because Brian Greene is like my generation. I said to Brian Greene, I said, Brian, you've been working on string theory for decades. Uh, maybe all of you are just too stupid to figure it out and we're waiting for someone else to be born into this field to then solve it and went into the ways none of the rest of you can. None of them are saying, I'm too stupid to figure this out. Let me choose another profession. No, they're saying the problem is too hard. And if you go 40 years of really smart people not figuring something out, that tells me either they're barking up the wrong tree or none of them are smart enough. Mm -hmm. am, I, am I overreacting well, here? I, I, I think you have to remember that we do build on each other. Yeah. And no, none of them by themselves are smart enough. Mm. Okay. But the, the community, again, it's, it, it's like... This Nobel Prize really belongs to a thousand people. It doesn't belong to me. Mm -hmm. uh, it uh, with a genesis in in, it, in Joe it, Weber. With a genesis yeah. in Joe Weber, we build. Uh, uh, Neat Newton spoke of uh, standing on the shoulders of giants, and that really is true. The, if I can see farther than others, it's because I've stood on the shoulders of giants who have come before me. 
And that's the nature of science. And the uh, struggles that uh, our colleagues have been having with string theory and M theory and quantum gravity, uh, we've learned an, off, uh, an enormous amount. Uh, it shows it's very promising, uh, but it's going to continue on into the next generation before the ultimate success is had uh, uh, very, very, very probably. Those are like final words right there. <laughs> Those are like, 